hard at work on Studio 2.0. Got a couple of videos coming to the Studio channel. It's gonna be pretty great. You're asking, Jason, isn't that your same old dumpy workshop turned sideways? Yeah, it is, okay? Chill, you gotta work with what you got. I've railed on this one quite a bit. I think our profession right now is currently defined by how intelligently we can ask questions of our clients. Not just how we do it, whether it's email, a portal, something like that, but how intelligently we can do so. How to ask those questions in an automated way, automate your follow-ups. I think 80% of the communication we do with our clients today is just info gathering. And info gathering does not add value. It's a massive waste of time. So beyond just efficiency, if we can knock out that 80% of wasted communication, how much space is left over for meaningful communication? A lot, a lot. So is this a thing that tech can do for us? Remember last year, getting the old way back machine. Remember launch? Last year, one of the most popular launches of 2020 was a tool called Uncat. It's a dedicated place for managing those uncategorized transactions that your clients need to speak into. Uncat has kindly sponsored this video. Today, we're going to soup to nuts, hop in, start a trial connected to QBO. I'll show you how it works. And it's actually super straightforward. All right, ta-da. Okay, here it is, uncat.com. Stop hurting cats. Let's just talk about this little guy right here, huh? There's branding, then there's a cat in a cowboy hat sitting on top of a, I don't know what that is, a little pony? I thought you heard the cats, but it looks like, it doesn't matter. Okay, so elevator pitch, syncs with QBO. They got a beta for zero and a beta for QuickBooks desktop. Five bucks per month per client. It's a tool specifically for accounts and bookkeepers. We're not like the bolt-on, like volume partner channel. This. It was designed for you and I from scratch. Basically, you get a little UI where your client can categorize the stuff themselves. And it's gonna pull those transactions in automatically from your accounting system. Look at those cute little guys. <coughs> okay, start a free trial. Cat. Person. It's Bruce. If you're not following Bruce, Bruce is a smart guy. Not just because he uses Uncat, just in general. Free 14 day trial, no credit card required. All right, I've got a wee bitty demo QuickBooks account here, and it's totally not mine. Okay, let's connect to QuickBooks. So you'll notice QuickBooks desktop beta, zero beta. We're demoing Charlie today though, so connect my QuickBooks, Jason test firm, demo biz, let's connect. Okay, so I'm gonna show you both sides. I'm gonna show you the accountant side, and the client side as well. Okay, so I've got my client email in there. First thing you do is you select all of the accounts you want it to pull transactions in from. It's gonna be a little different for everybody. We use like suspense at my firm, but it can be any number of accounts. So this default here is fine for me. And this is super smart. So if you do, you know, class tracking, for example, and you've got multi-location stuff coming through, you can have it pull in the transactions that are missing those additional context fields. So you may know what the transaction is, but you need to know how to split it or which location it goes to. That's been a hard one for me because I may know how to code it from a categorization standpoint, but I don't necessarily have all of those like other fields. I don't have any of those in this field, so I'm gonna leave that blank. Client superpower, this, if you toggle this on, this is gonna make their interface look like the accountant one. I'm not gonna do that because I'm just gonna show you the accountant one. Lastly, do you want the client to add a description? and do you want them to be able to add a receipt? I'm gonna to toggle that on and hit save. Okay, so here's my dashboard. Get that out of here. You got a bunch of clients, you can jump around over here. This app is simple, like simple in a good way. This is gonna pull in all the transactions that are currently in any of those accounts that you identified or that are missing any of those details that you specified. So let's pop back over to our QBO file. MailChimp, Miro, sure, all these look fine. Do, 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 zero. Conversion AI, what's this? No clue. So I'm gonna come in here, say uncategorized expense, add Circle K. I didn't go to the Circle K. S Circle community. That's software, silly. But let's say it was Circle K. You don't know how to categorize that. Uncategorized expenses. Let's do one more. Amazon. Oh, mama. We're gonna pretend we don't just dump that one into office expense, right? Law abiding bookkeepers. Okay, so we've thrown three in there. Drum roll, please. Neat. Okay, but this is still the accountant's view. So I'm gonna sign out. We're gonna pop in now as the client. 
Okay, I've been invited to join Uncat by Lint Roller and Associates. Your kind of professional Cat McCurtison at Lint Roller and Associates is inviting you to join their account on Uncat. Straight to the point. Simply go to your Uncat dashboard. I'm gonna click that guy. So here's what I like about Uncat. You'll notice I didn't just log in. That's what's called a magic link. Nobody wants to manage logins for your clients. For whatever reason, clients have never like reset a password or done any of that stuff themselves. And I don't wanna fuss with that. So that invite email, all it was was a magic link to hop in, categorize these three transactions. So I logged out of my accountant account, but I actually didn't need to now because the client doesn't really log in. So I'm gonna log back in. Let's fiddle with some of these things just to see what it looks like on the client side. So we got these three transactions and you notice there's a little like chat bubble here. So I'm gonna throw a note in here. Do you throw this into advertising every time? Send. Okay, so we've got a message there from Kat McCurtison. I can see on my side now, there's a little one next to the chat bubble. I'm gonna hop over to the client side, refresh. So what are all the things we can do here? Well, obviously they can check a description in here. It's my community software. But what else can we throw in here? Grammarly's got no chill right now. We got a little chat bubble over here. Oh, there's a message from Kat. Hey Steve, wasn't sure if we wanted to throw this into advertising every time. No, it's software, Kat. Okay, we can hop over to docs as well. If you got files, you can attach them here, receipts, that sort of thing. But another thing Uncat does really well, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go through that same magic link again. And we're in. So here's that circle transaction we were just working on. But the nice bit here is I can cruise through these pretty quick. Add any thoughts I have. I haven't saved that description yet on desktop. Let's go to the second one and I'm going to add a note for this Amazon purchase. New inflatable sofa for the lobby. Okay, I come down to the bottom, say save updates. My account requires me to attach a receipt and that's because we toggled that receipt toggle when we were first setting it up. So I'm gonna come back in here, go to docs, pull up a photo. Okay, uploaded a picture of a receipt. Save updates. There we go, successfully saved. So I'm back in here, I'm gonna refresh this, see if the second one goes away. Wouldn't you know it, it does. Now let's pop back over to the accountant workflow. So we've got one transaction taken care of. Now we're gonna log back in. And now we've got one that's highlighted here. New and flarable sofa for the lobby. Come over to category here, office supplies and software, sure, and save updates. Okay, one down, two to go. Now, are your clients just gonna come out here and check this stuff just for fun? Not a chance. So let's dig into the settings, look at how notifications work, see how this is actually going to work in practice. So I'm gonna go over to settings, got my one client here. If I want, I could grab a magic link, works for one week. I can manually push a notification if I want them to look at something right now, for example, but I'm gonna go into client settings. So these are the settings specific for this company. Now, if you decided you didn't wanna make receipts mandatory, you can toggle this off. I'm gonna to toggle that one off, but notifications here are the secret sauce, I think. So you get total control over the frequency of when they're notified. So the default here is gonna be weekly and you pick the day of the week. I'm gonna say Tuesday because you know what? You pick any old day. I'm gonna say Monday, Tuesday, Friday. If you want, you can have it text the updates to their phone. And I'm gonna check this so that I get notified right away when that client posts something into Uncap. So in practice, you set up this notification schedule for your clients. All you're doing is you're living inside the accounting software, throwing stuff where it needs to go. Maybe creating rules for the generic vendors like Amazon, throw them straight into uncategorized expense. And without you having to reach out, send an email or anything, that client's gonna get a digest on the schedule that you pick. So to see what that notification looks like, I'm gonna say notify now. This is manually pushing a new notification out to the client. And here it is, action requested by Lint Roller and Associates. Back in with the magic link and we've got these two remaining. So I'm gonna drop a note into here. Say this is software. Now receipts aren't required anymore. So I should be able to submit this, save updates. Easy peasy. Now, if you remember, I should get a notification right away because we checked that box under settings. Okay, one last one here, conversion AI, it's software. Everything I buy is software. I'm gonna sign out and pop back over to my accountant user. Okay, so we got these last two. They're now highlighted because the client has submitted something. This is software and software. One other thing you can do, you're gonna hit this plus. You can actually create a new account on the fly. Close this, office supplies and software, save updates. Okay, neat. They're not in Uncat anymore, but did it actually do anything on the QBO side? I sure hope so. Okay, pop back over to bank transactions. Go to our PL. Okay, I'm into my PL. So used to running them for last year. This year, okay, nothing in an uncategorized account. Let's take a look here. We got our conversion and our circle transaction. Pretty neat. Now, this demo account's super simple, only has basically a checking account. Other cool stuff you can do if you've got 
got multiple accounts like checking accounts, credit cards, and then multiple client users. You can assign different cards to different client users. So you got five people with cards, you assign those specific cards to each of those people. But for any of those cards, you chuck stuff into uncategorized or indicate, you know, that it needs like a location, for example, all those people are gonna get notified just about the stuff that's relevant to them. Pretty neat. So that is uncapped, pretty simple, right? One of the most popular tools we ever featured. So what's this look like when you're actually using it with all of your clients? So you got 50 QBO clients connected here. Obviously, when you're unsure of a transaction, you throw it in that bucket that syncs to Uncat. But even when there's a type of transaction, like a Walmart transaction that comes through that you're unsure of, you should make a rule. Throw that straight into uncategorized expenses. You just remove that entire communication loop. And that is a good thing. That is not a valuable communication loop. It's a tool that I'm using in my own firm right now. Check that one out. It may make your life a little easier. I'm gonna come back in here, go to docs, pull up a photo. How am I gonna do this in a way that doesn't show weird stuff? What are those? Those are butternut squashes. Whew, I was worried for a second there.